I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. You tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You said my world on fire. You said my world on fire. I just want you. I just need you, I don't know Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel I hope you're having a wonderful day I actually wasn't going to start this video today However, I have just had a very exciting parcel come through the post And I thought we would try it out together at the very beginning of this video Before getting into all of the equestrian content that is coming up this parcel is actually from Goo Goo Hair And I will leave all of the links and all of the information in the description box down below but inside this parcel is something called a wire hair extension, which I've never tried before. I am so excited to try. This is 100% Remy human hair. And if I undo the sticker on the bottom, we can literally see that this is a first impression. So before I actually undo this, I'm just reading all of the information that they've sent me in regards to like my colour and my length, etc. So they have colour matched me with the Platinum Blonde Balayage, and I have them in length 20 inches. And as I've said before, these are the wire hair extensions. So as we can see, it comes in beautiful packaging. And inside I have a clip and I have my extensions and also an instructions manual. So let's get this out. This looks like the perfect color match for my hair. The hairnet. This is the perfect color match. Oh my goodness me. That is crazy. Wow, okay, so. It's come straight, but obviously being human hair, you can wash them, you can curl them, you can do everything that you would with your normal hair, which is fantastic. And all of my hair at the moment currently is natural, but on the whole, when I have photo shoots, I do like to have extra hair. So I do tend to wear clip-ins, but with normal clip-ins, they just, they weigh my hair down. They weigh my hair down, they weigh my head down. I end up with a headache where they're so heavy. And I'm always paranoid that you can see them at the back. This is completely seamless, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. They come on a wire. Now, can you see the wire? Me neither. Um, and it's not like a wire wire, as we can see it, it's clear. It's not like metal, for example. Um, but the fact that you can barely see it here means you're barely going to be able to see it in your hair. So, there are two ways of working this. So the first way is you can get your hair like where you want it. Put the wire extension on there. So it looks like this. And then you can just pull all of the underneath through and over. Which isn't the way that I want to do it because I want to be able to keep my hair underneath not free. So I'm just going to see how much of a section I need to take. And it's pretty much just this area here really, just the, the crown of my head. We'll see if this is enough hair. This is my first time, this is literally my first time doing it. So we're just winging it with how much hair I'm going to need to take. So it currently looks like that at the back. I'm gonna do as much of a tutorial as I can <laughs> with a first time go. So I'm now going to place this at the back. I'm also doing this without a mirror as well, which is kind of proving difficult. So just put it on like that and I actually think that's perfect. So now I know that that is perfect. I'm gonna just take this bit that's <laughs> falling off the top here and I'm just gonna undo the little clips and clip these in to secure. So now I have all of those clipped in Bringing that down, I'm now going to take this centre section down and just give everything a good play. I'm going to grab a tangle teaser. Can we genuinely just take a minute? This does not look like I have hair extensions in. This is ludicrousy. I mean, the colour match is unmatched. The wire is so hidden, I can't even see, see where it is. This is what it looks like from behind. I can't see myself. What does it look like? Have I done it right? Oh, I haven't gone and looked in the mirror yet, so it might not be completely perfect. And this obviously as well isn't styled. I've just chucked it in on my hair that also isn't styled. These are incredible. They are really not expensive either. For what they are, the quality of the hair is incredible. I also have 15% off as well as site wide, which is Scarlet 15, which I know I've said before, but it is in the description box again if you forget. I can't wait to curl these. And there is so much hair in here that it doesn't feel heavy. It just feels 
like my normal hair. Oh my goodness, I don't ever think I'm going to need extensions or anything else ever again. This is the new way forward for me. So as I said, I will leave everything in the description box and I hope you enjoy this video. And on that note, morning everybody. It's first thing in the morning on a Sunday morning. I feel really exhausted today and I don't know why. I woke up with the worst headache right here. And as I like got up from my pillow, the pain as I moved in my head, oh my goodness. So I've drunk so much water this morning and I've had some painkillers because I don't like taking painkillers, but this, this morning, there was no way in not having painkillers. I look a little bit of a scruff this morning because I cannot be bothered to put makeup on, but I'm on my way to the yard. Obviously I'm taking you guys with me. I have some things to put in my lorry. I've got my competition saddle pad in my competition saddle pad case. Um, I've got my pink pooper scooper and I've got some other bits and pieces to put into the lorry. I'm actually keeping like my everyday stuff in the lorry now as well, just this like storage so i got my hat so i got my hat and my boots and things in there so i go in there every day and have a little look at it I actually believe it or not have the nicest outfit on today as well um which you can't really see right now because i have my big lumia cozy fleece on over the top it's got to that time of year again this was last year's one in black i bought it oversized so it was so cozy and oh my god it was the best purchase and i think probably the most worn thing maybe ever in my wardrobe um but underneath i have an equa l base layer this is in i think it's in plum i think this is what the color is i've then got my lumia elasticated belt on in fig which you can, yeah, you can see the colour there. And I've got some Maximilian breeches on, so I look really smart under my fleece, but it's really chilly this morning. So I'm going in a fleece, and then as soon as I get going, I'm sure I'll get hot and take off at said fleece. And you'll see my little outfit as I'm getting ringer ready to ride. Um, but yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I feel a lot better now, I must admit. I'm just tired, and I haven't had coffee, but I just know that coffee might bring my headache back. Um, so I'm kind of in need of coffee, but also pushing through, because, you know, sometimes just coffee just makes you feel worse if you're already feeling like a little bit, you know? So, um, so yeah, I'm going coffeeless, and I will see you at the office. Good morning, Dingo Bear. He's got his little equilibrium massager on this morning. Got the tuck out. Hey. <laughs> to the yard for the afternoon i'm just gonna go and get my nails done i think and i am just thinking about going for the same red again i'm just driving out of my drive um and i am actually at the horse yard for the top and i am actually at the yard for the whole afternoon today um except from at 2 30 i do have to nip out with the lorry um because neighbor of mine um oh someone's dog's in the road um i may have to find an owner for the dog hang on hazards on and try and find an owner for this dog right okay we begin again <laughs> i have found the owner of the dog um it was a really really cute dog with really funny teeth that stuck out at the bottom and i went to go and help said dog and said dog tried to have my hand off um and said dog was only the size of my hand near enough so that was quite <laughs> that was quite funny i got loads of other neighbors trying to help as well because there was just a dog in the road and um it didn't want us anywhere near it it was going <laughs> Um, but anyway, dog is back with owner, everything is fine. My nail lady's actually just phoned and accidentally double booked, so that's absolutely fine. 
they're fine anyway. And to be fair, I may even give them a go myself tonight and see how I get on um, because it saves me some pennies if I manage to do it well. Um, so before I go home, I'm just going to go to the shop because while I'm out and about, I just as well be out and about and get myself some dinner for this evening and then go back in the other direction and just maybe head to the yard earlier than anticipated this morning. Um, I'm, I'm doing some photos actually at the yard, not of myself, but of somebody else this morning, which is really, which is exciting. Um, I love taking pictures of people. I just love, I don't know, I just love it. Um, so that's really exciting today. Um, and yes, I don't know whether I said I have to take my lorry out at 2.30 because the groom area is leaking. Now, if you've seen my pack with me lorry video, if you don't, I recommend it because there's some really great stuff on that video. Um, but you wouldn't have seen that the groom's area is leaking because there was an old mat in there that was really smelly um, and like it smelled like mould. Um, so I bought a new mat, lifted up the old mat, went to go and put the new mat down and there's just a puddle underneath this mat. So um, I just need to get that checked, obviously I need to get the flooring checked. Um, so it's being checked and quoted this afternoon, not fixed unfortunately. And the, the, this place is supposed to be the best but they're booked up until December which is not good. So hopefully it's a really quick and easy job that can take like an hour and that you can just fit it in before I go away preferably. Um, cause otherwise I'm going to come back to a really damp and leaky lorry which I don't want that, which I really don't want. Um, so yeah, I'm just moving into Tesco and then, then we will be heading to the yard this morning. I don't have anything new on the update. I had a very chilled afternoon yesterday when I got home from the yard. I actually fell asleep but had the state at night as well. That was how tired I was and I kind of feel a little bit tired this morning as well, which is really annoying because I'd really rather not be so tired. Um, oh, there's the bakery as well. Do I get something from the bakery? Maybe I could get some bread from the bakery and some like vegetable soup for tonight. That would be quite nice. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys on my en route to the yard. Handsome. He's just having a little massage before we get ready. And we've just been given a present from the naked horse. This is the packaging. How unreal is this? And then look at the products. Oh my god, it's literally beautiful. We have a summer perfect spray, equine body spray, and coat. There's a collagen and kelp equine repairing body fondant. Look at the packaging, it's absolutely beautiful. There's an equine horse and body oil. There's an equine hair and body oil. There's some hoof dressing. Oh my god, this is stunning. Are you lucky boy? Are you a lucky boy? What's this? What's that? Okay, it doesn't smell like food. <laughs> Are you ready? I've just groomed you and you've got all hay in your mane again. What's that bit doing? Hey, what's that bit doing? Can I get this in a bit? Because you look like a farmer. Yeah. Is that bit for later on? Hey, so as you're having the munch later. Do you want it before you go or not? Is there no to Woody? Hey, are you all ready to go? Where are we going then? You've still got hay in there. You were all groomed beautifully a minute ago and you was all shiny. I'm going to leave you for a minute and you're covered in hay. Just patted him all over as well. Yeah. Using our new oil, you're so sparkly. Yeah, even my hands feel sparkly. Yeah, you clever boy. Right, shall we go? Come on then. <laughs> Guess who was an angel and deserves a second stud muffin? Is it you? You were actually so good today. You were. That was really good training. It was. Yeah, pretty eater. Pretty, pretty. It's so pretty when you do your eating, it's the prettiest faces. <laughs> Hello everybody. So I literally had the loveliest day at the yard ever yesterday. I didn't film too much of it because it's one of those days that was really social and, and I was in conversation with somebody from the minute I got there until the minute I left. But stand back up there again and it's intermittently either drizzling or pouring it down today. And I have just had a delivery which I am overly excited about and I feel like everybody else should be too. Um, it's the perfect day to wear this delivery. Oh my goodness. Um, but because I need to get some photos in it first, I don't trust Ringo to not get me filthy in it, even though this is literally the best day for this <laughs> to have arrived on ever. Um, but I have a big photo shoot with Sammy on Thursday and Friday this week. I may put a couple of behind the scenes parts on this video, but I'm also going to film a whole separate video um, of like our sleepover photo shoot um, anyway, which will be up next week. Um, but I thought in that video I can show you how amazing this product is. This is a sponsored product. Um, it has very kindly been sent to me. And if you haven't guessed it from the fact that I'm saying it's perfect for the wet weather, <laughs> I have just been sent a parcel from Equidry and oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm just going to pop it on the table and take a quick picture of it for my Instagram story. Um, 
and then I'll open it up and we can try it on on this video um, but you'll see more of it in the videos to come um, and you'll also see a lot more of it <laughs> as I continue through um, as I continue through the winter and I'm like wearing it during all the wet weather so let me just take a picture of this here without my feet and that would be great okay so Instagram story is done um, so before I start as well besides extra small in this it comes in this great bag as well oh wow oh my god these jackets <gasps> I am never ever, if I ever complain about being wet or cold again and I'm not wearing this jacket, shout at me because I haven't been wearing, because I'm not in this jacket. This is insane. It's really weighty as well, by the way, which obviously is absolutely perfect for the winter. Um, it's completely secure, so not, so not only is it zipped down the front, you've also got poppers to enclose it zip as well, which obviously adds extra protection from the rain. We unzip it. It's fleecy lined. <laughs> Guys, this jacket is going to be my best friend. Even the arms are fleecy lined. <laughs> oh my god, so I'm going to try it on. It's also full length as well, by the way. Let me move the chair out of the way and we can hopefully see more of what it looks like. So, you will not be buying this jacket. Let me pick you up somewhere so you can see more of me. You will not be buying this jacket for um, to look really sexy and flattering in. This is a jacket which is meant for practical use. It literally comes. I'm quite tall, so I'm five foot eight and a little bit, and I've got like that much room above my ankles, which I don't know whether I'll be able to show you in the mirror in a second. I'll be able to show you that in the mirror actually. Um, this is the most practical jacket of the world in in the whole wide world. I have mine in black, um, which again is just a really practical colour and goes with everything. Now, if I show it to you in the mirror, you can see how long it is. Um, don't mind me with the blankets on the sofa. My dogs are currently molting. For them to be able to go on the sofa at the moment, I'm just covering it just to protect my actual sofa. Excuse my feet and the fact I can definitely see now I need to dust my mirror. Um, this is how long the jacket is. These are also amazing to ride in, um, of which I'll show you everything, of which I'll show it to you guys on Ringo in my sleepover vlog, um, because that's the day that I'll be like taking photos in it and things like that. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be, but yeah, this is gonna literally be, let me turn you back around again. My autumn winter essential staple, and yeah, and yeah, it even comes with a hood, it's 100% waterproof. So, yeah, I will leave the link in the description box down below in case anybody is wanting an equi dry coat this winter. I really wanted to get my hands on one last year and they actually sold out this year i've been lucky enough to work with them but i would fully recommend getting your orders in asap before the before the really bad and really cold weather starts because these because these literally fly off of the shelves and for obvious reasons i feel like things that sell out are worth buying because you can you always know a good product when everybody wants it so this is incredible thank you so much thank you so much equidry i'm going to put a big clip in on as i say on my sleepover vlog where you'll be able to see it a lot more in use i'm not going to wear it today because one it's still like 22 degrees ish um and three because i need some photos in it really um but this is my my new winter best friend and i am completely obsessed however though moving on me and my water bottle and my banana are now heading straight to the yard i'm assuming i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure that trudy's coming in today as well it is raining um, i want to pamper her with all those new products i've just been sent um and give her a bit of a pamper i bought new halters of her. i bought new halters for her as well so i'd quite like to do some training um I bought the halters rather than a head collar because when I've got a little bit more control, but when she gives, she obviously gets a lot of give um, as opposed to just being like stuck in the same kind of head collar. So it's going to be perfect for her training as she's a really, really good girl. She just doesn't really know much about personal space and obviously being so strong and so big now, I'm assuming she's probably about 14.1. Like she is huge um she's going to be a really big section D. Um she is, yeah, she's um she just needs to know who's boss a little bit so in the nicest way po and obviously in the nicest way possible because I am the nicest person ever and I don't like to tell any and I, don't, I don't like telling anything off or anybody off so just by having a halter on her should hopefully just be enough kind of pressure when she's being too strong and then it obviously releases the pressure automatically when she's being good so yeah fingers crossed that works um so yeah hopefully we'll see Trudy today and if not Trudy will be in tomorrow um but yeah I'm going up this afternoon to go and see them pamper them and taking you guys with I've just arrived and he's having his groove and we've got sparkly toes and but sparkly body and you just look so sparkly hey and you smell good and you're just so beautiful mm, thank you oh does my hair not taste very nice he just wants to fun <laughs>
we've got a princess pony with a big old mark under here but all the other ones seem to have fixed themselves however with all of the products we got from the naked horse and this one is supposed to make things grow back instantly so we want to eat it that's nice we're going to put some of this on the collagen and kelp equine equine <laughs> equine repairing body fondant and we're going to pop it on there because that's quite big isn't it should i come in and give you a nice groom we've got lots of products to try so let's come on in um, and slowly but surely put them on on the tree horse yeah you have got huge by the way just an fyi you're huge let's pop them on in here for a second truly truly things. Okay, you should try and fix everything. You're really big, by the way. Like, oh Jesus, you have been bashed. Is your legs okay? Hmm, that is a big old bash. Legs okay? That legs fine. As long as your legs are okay, the body usually repairs, but and that side's fine. Where have you been fighting? Hey, eh? What have you been fighting about? Uh, oh. Hey, eh, you've got to put lots on that now. So I don't think your massage pad is supposed to be like that. Have yeah, you had a shake? <laughs> we had a little shake and it's all gone skew if. Okay, you're getting a stomach massage and <laughs> dingo. That's better. Hey, what happened to you? Huh? I need to get my stuff back from Trudy's. Is she down there? Oh, she's not going to put her head over now. My best friend's just been turned out and she's like, I'm wound up now. I'm just going to walk around my stable. <laughs> there she is. Trudy! Nope. Hi, baby! <coughs> yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> what are you doing, crazy girl? Hey. Guys, it's not very nice weather. <laughs> I'm in the state of me. Oh, my God. Scheduling how about what I look like. Hey, why are we going hysterically crying out to all of your friends today? Hey, what's going on? Well, your friend's been and left you. Hey, we 
Right, and the little pamper with all of our Naked Horse products, which, oh my god, rate them 100 out of 10. I'll leave um, their website in the description box in case anybody's looking for new horse products. They're cruelty free, they're vegan, um, all the packaging is recyclable, they're human grade products as well, so you can use them on yourself, which means that they're like perfectly fine for your horses. Um, they're amazing. Also, guys, look at how dapperly she is. Like, can we just appreciate this horse's coat? Like, it's actually insane. There's the bad shoulder. Um, but yeah, she is in tip-top condition, other than <laughs> losing half of her coat. Due to, um, due to what? Being silly with friends in the field. I don't say goodbye, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, you're staying in for the night. Mm -hmm. Cozy night tonight, not in the rain. Ooh. Okay, that was a nice goodbye. I'm gonna get back to say goodbye. Okay. I'm getting old now and I've got lots of things in my mind other than cuddles all the time. So you guys, I just got back from Tesco and I've had a really fun shop today. So I'm gonna show you everything I've got because I am that person. These are my favorite things in the whole wide world are the chocolate food crepes and they are the absolute best. My doggies are talking to me through the window. Um, I have also got some eggs. That's not the most exciting purchase. Um, nor is my <laughs> Robinson's juice. Um, so why is everyone barking at me? Why are you barking at me? What? Um, I also, I I literally, I never buy myself ice cream, but this is an offer on club card points. So I've got some caramel brownie parties, which apparently is also known as Sofa So Good. So I'm really excited to try that. I think I might wait for that on like a Friday night or something when I'm like, when I want to get really cozy. I treated myself to normal bagels. I usually go for bagel thins, but I thought I'd go for a few extra calories and get some normal bagels because why not? You only live once. My favourite dinners at the moment. The most basic dinner ever. But chicken and vegetable soup because when... Let me turn you around a minute. So because I'm a solo person, a single person, I only ever cook for one person. And cooking for one person sometimes is really difficult. Sometimes if I get back late or I've been working all day and I'm exhausted, finding the motivation to cook a big meal for one person is a lot. Like if I'm cooking for two people, I actually really like to cook. Um, but this way chicken and veg, I get my protein and I get my vegetables all in one little thing. And also, especially with this weather at the moment, I find soup so cozy with some bread. Um, so I also got some of these, which look delicious. These are new. These are McVitie's Blissful Belgian, Belgian milk chocolate and caramel um, inside a crunchy biscuit. They're so really expensive, actually. I think that it's like three quid. Um, but they were new and I thought I would try them. And that was even with club card points. Um, I got some of these this would be my last pudding probably in like on earth if I have to choose one at one point in my life I just love a flake cabri pot more than anything in the world <laughs> um, I got myself some sriracha because I fancy scrambled eggs on toast um, I got myself some more sea salt and um, some stir fry red and some stir fry vegetables um so when i said i had a really fun haul actually looking at my shopping it's it's less fun isn't it um but that is what i bought <laughs> and i also feel a bit sad about truly having a scratch on her shoulder because she's my baby and the thing is because i'm from a showing background in showing you are not allowed any bumps or scratches i know i don't show anymore and i'm into dressage but she, I think, is going to grow up and be a really beautiful show horse. Now, whether I then decide to show her or not, I will only find out when I decide, like, when she's older. Um, she's definitely going to be doing a lot of dressage, but whether I decide to, like, do some showing, I'm not sure. Um, but my heart, when I see her like that, I'm like, oh, one, like, my heart anyway, and two, no show ring. <laughs> um, so, like, it definitely, like, that puts the, it just, it blocks out any option of that in the future. Um, as well, to be fair, body hair always grows back. It's their legs that you can't have any bumps and scratches on. So, as long as her legs stay fine... I'm going to manifest it and write it in my manifestation book that everything else stays fine. Um, then she'll be fine. But we've tried her on her own. And she... I don't know whether the electric's maybe not that strong. She just walks through it. Um, so <laughs> uh, we have tried her on her own. It's just... It's really annoying. <laughs> so, yeah. I just... I'm just going to have to really keep an eye on it. But there's nothing I can do anyway, even if... I just really sad about it. Um, but anyway, I'm home now for the afternoon. I was going to have a photo shoot this afternoon um, with a couple of Holland Cooper pieces, but it's it's now tipping it down. <laughs> so I'm not going to be doing that. I'm I think just going to be finishing off some emails. It's half past four, so I'm going to finish off some emails that I've got to send, um, and just start a plan for my sleepover weekend. I think with Sammy because um, 
I need to know what I'm taking and things like that. So I'm just gonna do some admin this afternoon, um, have dinner and have a cozy one basically. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. As of all the places you could be having a little snooze, that is maybe the worst. <laughs> just literally in the middle of a random place in the house on the carpet. Hey, you could go on the bed, the sofa, but no, just the floor. <laughs> little Dee Dee, you're so beautiful. You are, your mummy's baby. Good morning guys. So it is really early in the morning. I say really early, it's like 7.30. Um, I've been up for about an hour. Actually, that's a lie. I've been up for an hour and a half, but I've been out of bed for an hour. I've just put on um, the Great British Bake Off in the background as I have my tea. And I just feel like baking cookies. That's really dark and my camera's gonna go funny in the dark, hang on. So yeah, I'm gonna pop you on a time lapse and <laughs> make some cookies. Which I know is obviously really early to make cookies, but I've got a really busy day. And I'm going to the yard and I just, I fancy taking cookies. <laughs> I haven't baked in a really long time and I love baking. Um, I just don't, I just don't like baking when I haven't got anybody to share it with, because otherwise I eat it all myself and then I feel really guilty about eating it all myself. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take the cookies to the yard today. Dates as well, as I actually didn't, I've broken up the spot. Um, I didn't actually end up taking taking my lorry on Monday because I found somebody else who will hopefully be cheaper and also be able to get me in quicker as the other, as the other people were booked up until December so fingers crossed this guy can do it um, I'm driving the lorry to him later to see if he can hopefully get it booked in with him um, which will be really good because it's really raining and I know my lorry is going to be really damp and um, puddly <laughs> Not good. So today I need to get Ringo ready for his sleepover. I also need to get myself ready for the sleepover. Plan what I'm taking. Uh, so yeah, I'll be the first time in the lorry tomorrow with all my new stuff. Lamia sent me and if you haven't seen the pack my lorry with me vlog, that would have gone up a couple of days ago. And I'm hoping as well, like fingers crossed, you would have seen my big Lamia unboxing by now. It should have gone up yesterday if you're watching if you're watching this video on the day that it's gone up. Um it's the, the date's been changed around. I've been sitting on this video now for two weeks as this launch keeps being pushed back. Um, but I'm so hoping by now that all of the content for that has gone live because I've got some amazing photos on in it. Uh, because I've got some amazing photos of me and Ringo in it as well, um, which I'm hoping has gone up by now. Fingers crossed. And this morning, as we can see, it's very cosy. I'm still in my pyjamas. I want to get some more of these. And I went into Primark the other day to get more and they still haven't got them in yet. These were like, I think they were like either 12 or 15 pounds. Now they're not the prettiest. They are the comfy Coziest, coziest, just they're just everything, and they're also a really nice colour as well. On that note, guys, let's make some cookies. I had one of these last night, the best thing ever. I only had one because, like, one cookie is because one biscuit is like a million calories. Um, oh my god, they're insane. going on a hack I've got to bath him and prep him all for his few days away at Sammy's but how good do these look so I'm taking them for the girls at the yard oh my god I've kept one and a half at home for me because I've just had half of one um but oh my goodness me these look amazing they're just a Jane's patisserie um recipe it's her milk chocolate and sea salt cookies and unbelievable so yes i will see you guys at the end also super quick outfit details holland keeper base layer um a very old river island belt i've got the nicovian breeches on today which are a little bit thicker than the hybrids from blackheart which is a little bit which makes it a little bit warmer in the rain and then i've got this gorgeous um and then i've got and then i've got this gorgeous holland cooper mac on as well which is going to um hopefully 
keep me dry. But the, the only thing is, it's, the hood is ginormous. Um, that's the only thing about this jacket I would say is that don't expect it to be like a butte hood unless you've got a really big head. Uh, <laughs> um, but other than that, this jacket is one of my absolute favourites, especially for dog walking because it's so glamorous um, and pretty, yet also really practical and waterproof. Number one, if I do say so myself, I have oh, nearly fallen down the seat, um, have just done some absolutely ace parking and I am incredibly proud of myself. <laughs> Number two, the lorry is fine. Um, it just needs resealing around the top of the roof, which is like a really easy fix. And he's only going to charge me 150 quid. So as long as that fixes the problem, epic. Um, so that's going in next week. Are my lights on? Why does that feel like my lights are on? Why is there a light sign? Because I don't want that on. I need to figure that out in a second because I don't want my battery to run out. Is that going to close off the second I open it? No. Um, I need to figure that out. Um, so yeah, Laurie's all fine. I've just also been down to the petrol station and filled that up ready for my weekend away, which is really exciting. I say weekend away, it's not it's Thursday and Friday. <laughs> um, it feels like a weekend. Um, Trudy's still in the stable, so I'm going to go and see her and put some more of that stuff on her little scab areas. Um, and then at some point today I'm going to hack with Ringo, so I'll pop some of that on this video as well. I'll try and get some like um, footage on my phone if I can. Um, and yeah, the skies are going from rain to, to grey to... I can see some blue skies, so apparently it's coming out this afternoon, which would be great. Um, if you haven't seen my... would it be out? Yeah, my lorry vlog will be out by now. Um, you can see me try and put these seat covers on in a really bad way. They're not really on here very well, but never mind. <laughs> and I'm also starving, and I really should have taken... I should, like, should basically I should have double batched the cookies because they're already gone <laughs> I kind of I made sure that everybody would have had one but some people were having like two or three so <laughs> I haven't got one I luckily I managed to keep one back for myself at home so I'll have that with a cup of tea this afternoon um but I'm starving so whether I do end up at McDonald's driving down to McDonald's for my lunch um is another story because I have quite a lot to do here at the yard today and I have no food with me <laughs> good at filming oh there's my thumb <laughs> um oh, lovely day happy 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 <laughs> a little bit this way for a bit of youtube i have to hold it while we go past this dingo bear big old lorry up ahead my darling i think it's oh it's turning in look at that is it turning in for us yeah hey big scary lorry dingo bear with my left hand which I think is going to be really joggy. <laughs> I put all our products down. And then let's say hello to the beautiful girl. You are so beautiful though. You are so beautiful. And you I feel like that cream's like healed it almost overnight. It doesn't look so sore now does it? Should we put some more on now? All the creams to put on you now Jen. truly princess. My little princess put in. You are such a princess. You can tell you've been in for a night because you've got clean nose. Clean snores. Yeah, look at her dapples, guys. She is in such good condition. She is literally glowing on you. Hi, my little baby. We're getting her feet done this week as well. Because the farriers didn't come this week in the end, did they? No. Nope. Get your feet done this week. Should we say hello together? <sighs> Guess who's getting a mother's in a minute? Me. <laughs> oh, big kiss for the camera. <laughs> 
baby. Thank you. What's that sound? You've had to put it in my ear. No, hold it. That's a good girl. Good girl. Let's come on in. I'll do some grooming. Well, I look tired. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. I did so much today, but just not on my camera. It was such a social day. I know I've said that a lot this week, but this week's just been really social at the yard and it's been lovely. Um, but it means I can't vlog because obviously there's loads of people around me and loads of people like in the video, which obviously I like to keep everyone's privacy and just make it, I say about me every go, but you know, obviously just keep everybody, like respect everybody else and whatever. Um, as I'm sure not everybody wants to be on YouTube with our conversations on YouTube. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I had the most loveliest hack with one of my really good friends, Myrtle. We went for a really long time, actually. Had a really, really good, had a really, really good, long, lengthy hack and good catch-up. And then we came back. I was starving. So we went to McDonald's and we had McDonald's. And then I came back and I bathed Ringo. I'm going to put a clip on of how shiny Ringo is. It's not going to be a YouTube like landscape, it's going to be more portrait. Um, so I do apologise for that, but I did put that for my Instagram story. And that is using the Beautify Oil from Naked Horse. Oh my god. Wait until you see the shine. Okay, now you'll see the shine. How insane is that? Like, literally how insane. He looks incredible. I haven't rubbed him because it's really warm tonight. So whether I have to, so I might have to do another hot cloth in the morning with that oil um, before leaving. And then when I get to the yard in the morning, I've just got to collect him. I've got to collect his tack, put everything on, get his feeds in there for the next couple of days, get some hay for the next couple of days, um, get some haylage for the next couple of days, and then we're done. Basically, we're all ready to go. I'm going to really quickly get myself um, bathed with my hair washed, and then I'm going to pack what I'm taking, which I will show you guys actually what I'm taking in a second. Um, so we can do like a little pack with me. Um, and then I'm probably gonna end this video here um, in a second like tonight, which I know obviously I've only been filming this video for now four, five days instead of like seven days. But I'm gonna be filming so much over the next two days that, that I'm best to save all my content for that. Um, so it's literally, <laughs> I'm gonna be filming the sleepover. I've got two or three vlogs to film whilst I'm there as well. Um, so yeah, there's loads, loads to do, loads going on. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in a second. Slightly different looking Scarlet Martin this evening. I have washed my hair, which has been air drying for like an hour, hence why it looks this state. And let me turn you around so I can show you guys what I've been up to packing wise because I came into my room and I was like, hmm, what do I take with me? And I now have my great big suitcase. Absolutely, I haven't folded this one yet. Um, absolutely jam-packed <laughs> full of things to get content in while I am at Sammy's. I've just got to fold up, just got to fold up these jeans and this top which is about the wash. Um, and then, <laughs> and then we're all good to go other than toiletries, etc. I've got loads of Holland Cooper. I've got loads of Lemire. Oh my God, I literally look exhausted. I am exhausted. <laughs> Um, what else have I got? Oh, I've got loads of things. I've got some horse gloss, um, I've got loads of equa elty, but I think it's a really good idea for me to get as much as I can. Um, I've got a horse show next Saturday, so just in case for any reason I can't get content next week, which shouldn't be an issue, but in case it is, I have then like months worth, um, to be able to post over on Instagram. And then it was, and also as well, just use the time as wisely as we can. It's probably going to be the last time before I go on holiday that I'm going to get Ringo over there for a sleepover. So that means the last time that we're going to be able to get the light for as long as we can. <laughs> obviously with winter coming, like the, oh, my hair is everywhere. With winter coming, obviously days shorten so much. Um, so yeah, I just think while we have really nice weather tomorrow as well, the autumn's here, etc, etc, I should probably get as much as I can while I can, um, which is my plan of action. So I've, yeah, I've packed so much stuff. <laughs> But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Excuse my washing in the background. I'm hoping there's been enough content on this video. God, I can't even remember what's happened this week. It's been so whoo that I can't remember what's been going on. Um, but I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, a wonderful Saturday, and I will see you guys soon.